For this video, I'm going to go over some club and group management techniques. We are back on the home page of UNG Connect. We're going to scroll down to find the group we would like to enter. Again, you can enter your group here, or you can click on the group button and enter it this way. So let's go this way this time. Now, if you're an officer or an administrator of the group, you will always be taken to the dashboard first. So regular members aren't going to see this, but this is a way you can kind of get a quick shot of all the tools that you can use as an administrator. All of these tools can also be found on the left side over here. So what other members when they see when they go into the page is going to be group page. So you'll see this is your group's homepage that anyone visiting or regular members will see. So there's a variety of things you can do to manage your group. Now you see I'm missing my meeting information right here. So I'm going to go to this little wrench for about and I'm going to put in the meeting information and save and you'll see that's ready to go. The general about stuff can be changed in the settings, which we'll get to in a minute. You also have a variety of group links on the right side here that you can also use. But for now, let's go over just a few main things. You can edit your logo here, which is this piece. You can edit your cover, which is this long piece right here. You can go to page settings. Now we've put everybody's pretty much the same, um, so it's up to you if you want to change this. Contact student involvement if you have any questions. Something you might want to add is a group tagline. So the voice of the student body is what we chose, and you'll see it appears here up at the top. Next, I'm going to go to the officer button. Here we have a list of all of our officers. So as the advisor, I made myself the main contact, and I'm visible on the website, but I could very easily just take those off. And I could make our president the main contact. You'll see here that each president has their position filled in, but say that that was incorrect, you just click on this and click the correct one. Please make sure all your officers are updated to reflect the current school year, the 2019-2020 school year. If you have someone that's no longer an officer, you click the box by their name, scroll up and go to the three buttons here at the top and you'll see delete. So I'm gonna delete this person. She's no longer a member, no longer an officer, she's graduated. The same goes for these two, so I can just click on these, click both of them at the same time, and delete. Now if I want to add an officer, I go to add officer here at the top. I notice our vice president is missing. You can notify a new officer by email if you want, but you don't have to. You click add. Now when I added him, the position is blank, so I'm going to go click on vice president. So if you have different names for your officers, that's totally fine. You do not have to use this list. You can just do a custom position right there. And it saves automatically, you'll see. There's no save button, so you're good to go. Next, we have settings. Please don't change any of these without talking to the Office of Student Involvement. Uh, this is where you can change your mission and membership benefits. You can put goals if you want. Um, so this kind of this main one, it's okay to change somewhat, except for the group category. Don't change that. Uh, you can change your logo if you wish. Um, but for the rest of it, uh, just kind of keep it the way it is. Reports, this is a bunch of assessment you can do. Uh, we won't get into that right now. Member management. So this lists all of our current members. Again, you want to go through and make sure that everybody is accurate. So we deleted these officers before. So we're just going to delete them again. All right, everyone in here is active. It looks like they're all listed as members. You can also make somebody a contact and not a member. So they're still part of the group, but they don't get full membership benefits. You can look at past members, contacts. If you have a lot of new members to add, go to upload members and it will take you through how to do a bulk upload. Next, we have emails. This is a really great function. This is where you can email your group. So I can go to compose email right here. I'm gonna to need to select my recipients. We'll just do the members that we have right now. Compose. You'll see all your lists of recipients. You can choose a from email address. So you can choose any of the officers, or you can use your main group email address, which is in our case the advisor email. You might have a generic UNG email that you want to use, and that's totally fine. Do your subject. And something really great about the new UNG Connect is it has templates for you. You don't have to use these, but I think they look very professional and can be very useful. So let's let's just go with a, a basic template right here. You add an image, add your subject, write your email, and it looks very professional. You can also do an introduction where it's dear first name, hi first name, or just first name. You can create an event to put in here. You can create a survey. You can click this box to so don't forget to update your profile. You can also schedule email deliveries, which is great. So if I wanted to send this on Friday at noon, I could do that. 
can also hide some links from the email and hide the default signature. You can preview it first. Again, this would be filled in. And then you can save it as a draft if you're not done yet, or you can save and send. You can also send yourself a test email to make sure it goes through correctly. I'll go over creating an event in another video, as well as surveys and forms. Files is where you can keep all of your group documents. Uh, you don't have to use any of the ones that come preloaded. You can delete everything in here and start anew, whatever you want to do, it's yours. Uh, more tools, that gets into some complicated stuff, so we'll do some more training and videos on that at a later time. If you have any questions, just let me know.